All right, all right, all right. So it is finally time for me to do a career simulation of a 2024 rookie. There was less hype on this year's draft class than God knows what, but that is until the man who was actually most hyped up for other reasons decided to say, screw it, here we are. I'm going to put up veteran numbers. In his past six games, Jared McCain is averaging 25, 4, and 2 on incredible shooting splits. If the year ended today, there's no doubt this dude wouldn't rookie of the year. And of course, as you probably know, the dude is already widely known even when he was in like high school because of him dancing on TikTok and painting his nails. I think it's really fire that out of all people, the dude that half of the old heads were hating on for dancing and painting his nails decided to say, screw it, I'm just going to be the best rookie. So the start of his career, which by the way, 2K does not have start today in the game. It's actually pretty funny that when you go to do start today, it says season has not started. Now he's actually a 73 overall in 2K, but I decided to take it in my own hands to upgrade him a little bit more. Basically, I just added a bunch of badges that he had zero and now he has a couple. He's got 10. His attributes were already pretty decent as is. And alongside Tyrese Maxey, Joel Embiid, and old Paul George, we're going to see how this dude's career progresses. All right cool let's do it he is starting off the rip i mean the only people that would be in front of him is eric gordon but probably see the potential in a minute said screw it throw him in there and there's no injuries on which is why the Sixers are struggling heavily in real life speaking of the nba standing shout to the Cavs. as i record this they still haven't lost the mavs trade quentin grimes from nikola vucevic their defense is going to be less intimidating than mugsy bogues on a thursday but lucas still won mvp so risha shea wins rookie of the year but mccain was second in points per game with two rebounds and two assists you know 43 from the field 37 from three these actually don't look to be that that off stats wise at least especially for what to expect from 2k i did put a shot tendency up to 78 but i mean i wasn't gonna put it no higher than that shout out to dalton connect Sixers are the fourth seed in the conference playing against atlanta shout out to dyson daniels greatest fantasy basketball pickup i've ever made speaking of fantasy sports i'm currently number one seed in both of my football leagues and i probably watch a combined 16 minutes of football this entire year i mean i'd be throwing the red zone on but i, I yeah it's over there I, I don't i don't really look at it much well we're down three two and that's even with mb putting up 50 points and we won the third game to make it game seven so a uh, year one game seven last time this happening it's the hawks ben simmons's career died before we go any further i want to thank you the prize picks response from this video prize picks is the best place to play daily fantasy sports available in over 30 states and use the code click you can get 50 dollars instantly when you play your first lineup for five dollars or more it's be 19 or old to play age restrictions vary from state to state and please play responsibly also a prize picks is demons and goblins feature you can win up to 100 times your money all right so for today's picks jared mccain at 21 points screw it i'll go with more for him again beat's supposed to miss this game again sangoon 15 rebounds and assist. I'm going to say more on this one. He's done it in most of his recent games. Oh, Chayak Baji at one and a half threes made. He's definitely been firing him and Indiana's not even a great defensive team. So I'm going to say more and I'll go more on Zach Levine at 21 points as well. I feel like if he wants to have his way with Detroit, he can. On this entry, I went up to 10 times my money on prize picks. You went up to 25 times your money on any entry. Thank you to prize for sponsoring this video. Maybe just go to click and click the link in the description. You get $50 instantly when you play your first $5 lineup. And now to get back into the video. Ah, screw it. There's 13 seconds left and the Sixers have the ball. McCain is not in the game. Ryman accidentally but Embiid is for some reason isoing at the top of the key and he's gonna get the screen from Caleb or Cody or whatever the hell Martin that is Embiid pulls up for three crackhead yeah oh, oh and they still have time this just makes it even worse I see across the bottom right now it's like a going across the screen that Shea set a new playoff thunder record with 58 points and recently in real life he set his career high in regular season points with 45 and I saw people making fun of him for it I think we're broken as a society all right let's see if the Hawks end the season right here pass into Risa Shea for three Three and it's off. Shout out to Risa Shea. He had one really good game against the Knicks, at least that I'm aware of, because I was watching the game. I was watching him cook us. By the way, uh, I noticed that McCain just isn't starting anymore. That's why he's not in the game right now. Anyways, uh, they have the ball again with 11 seconds left. So this could be the end of the season once again. Let's see if Maxi can clamp up Trey Young. Um, four seconds, three seconds. Screen isn't going to get there in time. So he's going to pull a fall away three, and that's off another overtime. They're just wasting my time. This dude is like 20 years old and not playing. So uh, we're just kind of here for the ride. They took me saying they're wasting my time to heart and just sold the entire last overtime anyways mccain had 11 points on three for six shooting paul george had 47 and 10 and maxi at 33 but we lost trey young 49 points and your philadelphia 76ers in the first year of paul george have went home the wolves win the championship sweeping the pacers kyle lowry retired the sixers drafted elite prospect none bug like this is the first time in a while lebron didn't just retire also the wolves re-signed julius randall and brought back and let nas reed go to the raptors sorry nas reed i guess he's already used to being cold double entendre if you want it to be jared mccain went up i put him up three overalls myself so we went up another seven overalls in one offseason which is kind of insane and uh six is definitely needed with paul george falling off like he is right now at uh, down to a 85 they also signed precious achua marvin bagley delano banton and josh richardson's old so you know 30 was not that old but you are regressing like a 38 year old but i feel like i didn't see bruce brown here did he just did he just spawn i don't know anyways obviously mccain's gonna be starting all year ben simmons got traded for josh primo what an intriguing trade no this not, has nothing to do with us by the way i don't know how but we got 
got Peyton Watson off the dent. You know what? It, wait, what the hell? Okay, look, I, I was, uh, as the British people would say, I was waffling. I didn't think I was going to find anything on here that had anything to do with us, but we have traded Paul George for Jamal Murray. Oh, and we also got an intriguing second round pick out of this, uh, a 2030 second round pick to be exact. I, I can't even guess what the lineup must have been the past amount of games. Okay, so Jamal Murray's just coming off the bench. That's what it is. And now Peyton Watson's a starting small forward. Yeah, I see why we signed him. We needed the dude. And then we also traded Caleb Martin for Derek Jones Jr., but he just doesn't play. Also, through all this, the team sucks. So, but hey, at least McCain's averaging almost 20 points with three and a half rebounds and three assists on really good shooting. So I guess his career is formulating, but whatever. Luca got another one. We're in the play in against the Magic. It's not really good, though, but all right, we're in the play in against the Magic, and McCain's going to catch the ball in the corner. Now, whoever wins this will go to the seventh seed, and whoever loses will have a chance to get the eighth seed, but you could also just lose again and then it'll be over. Anyways, Maxi just took the worst shot of all time. Shout out to Anthony Black. And Anthony Black the other way. Oh, he almost throws the ball away. Thought he was like 6'4", but I saw a tweet earlier today saying that Anthony Black is 6'7", as Franz Wagner hits the layup, and now we're down by two. This isn't good. And yeah, he for damn sure looked like he was 6'7 when he was playing, but now he's actually on the bench as Maxi's out here, and it looks like... Wait, where the hell is Embiid? He must have fouled out or something. I don't think I turned those off. Tyrese Maxi with the game on the line, guarded by a great defender in Jalen Suggs, and what the hell was that? What What in the live? This dude, Hugo Gonzalez is probably going to game us right here. Yep, it's over. Sayonara. Oh, now he might just miss the playoffs. I tried to stop it and watch the... Oh, wow. We actually only won this game by two against the Pistons. We're usually pretty good in 2K. And now we're playing the Celtics, who, oddly enough, are actually good in 2K. Maybe it's Walker Kessler. Maybe he did it for him. I don't know. But usually this team sucks in 2K. So it's a pro I mean, they... Okay, they only got 50 wins. It's only 10 more than us. And guess what? We're up in the Series 3-1. They called Boston frauds right to their face. It's weird because usually this matchup goes the direct opposite in real life. But instead, we have one the series in five games sixers 4-1 second round against toronto shout out to rj barrett he's been pretty good in real life lately and he's looking pretty good in this game too as we're down 3-2 now it's 3-3 and we lost game seven another game seven loss back-to-back -back years mccain finishes the playoffs averaging 21 4 and 4 on good shooting yet again to follow up on the regular season another good progressive year for him but all in all though i mean the sixers contention window is dwindling although i guess now they'll have a younger player than paul george playing off the bench i don't think i could rationally make jared mccain the the small forward he's 6'3 i mean shout out to norman powell but not ideal he's also a good ball handler so whatever luca wins finals mvp nicholas batum retired okay well we got Caden boozer and elston why did why are we getting so many guards though but i know this dude Caden boozer probably be good since he's carlos's son and the brother of the other one that's pretty good good god we have signed tobias harris back to the team who will once again or i maybe will be our starting small forward i don't know shoot him and Rui might both start and that's gonna be interesting jared mccain's up to an 87 we saw his badges a while ago well now he has gold set shot specialist and a lot of this other stuff is just kind of stuck around his career high in points is 37 and i think in real life he's already done around as good as this maybe better but to be fair half the team is injured in real life and in the game there's no injury i think the process might be starting again okay i really was gonna let the season rock but good lord we are 15 you know a lot of times like i'll i'll let the season simulate i'll like go to the bathroom or something now i was expecting just to like click oh keep the simulation going but we're last and it looks like we probably will just stay there because utah and la I mean, for sure in the East, the, the Knicks are second to last. Um, help me. I don't really know the reason for this, but yeah, this is what's happening. Maybe McCain's the problem. This team has three 20 plus point scorers. Then Jamal Murray's averaging 18 and then no one else is in double figures. But I mean, McCain's averaging 22, five and four this year. Uh, definitely looking like a star alongside, you know, three other stars that are doing nothing, I guess. Or I don't know. I guess Luca's on the Clippers now. I don't even know how that happened. Congrats to the Cavs for their championship. You know, I guess them in real life right now is kind of indicative of a few years ago in 2K when they were unstoppable. I guess they still kind of are pretty good, but haven't I always said on this channel that I thought the Cavs were going to be better and I was also really scared of them when the Knicks played them that one year and then they just weren't that good. Yeah, well, I guess they're starting to figure it out also. CJ McCollum retired. Oh, well, that's good. Uh, our pick is in possession of Brooklyn. Is, is it actually going to stay there? Yep. Yeah, no second pick for us. It goes to Brooklyn. And the Pistons got the first pick. How the hell did the Pistons? Where were they? They jumped from nine to one. Good for them. I mean, it doesn't affect us anyway. We got some second round bums. We could have had Alex Costanza or Taja Riza or Hugo Yimga Mokori or Elijah Arenas. But uh, I guess we're getting nobody. Honestly, whoever's a free agent, please leave. That includes you, Jared. Just we need to blow this up. We need to start over. DeAndre Hunter, welcome to the team. Knowing how he is in 2K, this is only going to hurt. Joel Embiid's down to an 88 and Jared McCain is now the second best player on the team ratings wise. He's got dead eye on gold i know this doesn't really matter yet because we haven't seen him play yet but i did download it or whatever i applied a jump shot fix to him that i found on youtube because you know they give rookies just trash jump shots in 2k through and through yeah this is definitely a process and we got to worry about it being victor's league uh jared you don't look that cool
cool anymore. We were last in the league again by damn near 10 games behind anybody. Once again, the fake big four was all pretty good. McCain averaged 26 and four this year, six being the rebound. I didn't even know Dylan Brooks was here, but I was just checking who was our worst players on estimated wins added since this is a pretty bad team. So this is probably evident. Dylan Brooks had negative six wins added. <laughs> DeAndre Hunter at negative four. Gary Trent at negative two. Aaron Wiggins at negative one. Literally just these five players were the only reason we won any games this season and it wasn't many congrats to victor for his first ring he also won the mvp this year wait i think i i remember showing that now i don't know what okay fantastic this year the wizards have our pick is it protected please tell me it's protected it's not it also fell down three spots i don't know how you how you managed to be this stupid any oh okay wait who the hell wait Darius Wobbington? Is this a joke? Okay, well, that pick was from the Clippers, I guess from the Harden trade. All right, guys, Darius Wobbington, defensive anchor center. Yeah, we're going to need one of those soon. Embiid is wisping away into the wind. Oh, Jared McCain's a free agent, but he's probably just going to go back for $240 million. Jared McCain now a 92 overall, a little bit better than Tyrese Maxey. Embiid's down to an 85. This dude, Elston, is up to an 83. And Jamal Murray's also old now. Caden Booz is good at least, but uh, in case you can't notice, he's basically the fifth point guard on this deck chart right here sorry but wobbington isn't playing yet one of these times it'll be his time to rue the day out to neville pepperman all right can i check something good god we don't have our draft pick again the clippers have it again we have nine wins i i don't even know why this team is this bad i mean if you want to get down to the stats we have the worst defensive and offensive rating so that's good it's gonna put up some shots with jared t's our tensions you see the jumper is not that bad so it's a pretty nice looking thing he's got going on here can you dunk now oh that was lame i'm leaving shout out to the hornets for the ring and ace bailey Amani bates retired coach of the year rookie of the year retired the number one pick goes to the new york knicks via philadelphia i don't even know how it says the clippers were getting this pick wait did they make like the did the clippers trade it again to the knicks but did the knicks make it protected i don't know but they have the pick well good for me bad for the video number one pick eric dampierre jr 80 overall could have replaced them beat probably better than him this year oh wow okay i'm not sure who we lost in this transaction nobody it looks like jamal murray is gone on his contract got freed up and welcome to philadelphia alperin shengun i guess you know anything's better than not trying or whatever oh wow we also re-signed joel Embiid in the same offseason you would think that they would probably just move on if um yeah but nope they're both back and Embiid's now making 60 million and he's down to an 82 to start the season they've got elston harrington starting over Ty wait did they just say he hasn't played oh no that's recent games okay yeah he's starting over tyrese oh snap darius wabbington is in the rotation now with a bench of maxi caden boozer joel Embiid can this team really be the worst team in the league again please for the love of god just be good they've lost the first 55 games yeah i quit like no lie i genuinely gave up for the season but um guess what it's the playoffs huge time we find no we ain't make nothing we had 20 wins and guess what mataz buzelis is now part of the team he got traded for joel mb i lied i actually lied that was a whole separate wait who the hell did we trade christian brown for mataz but we traded joel mb for aj johnson from originally the bucks he wasn't there anymore though uh, who the hell knows but he is his contract's about to expire so i guess we'll have some money maybe i don't know also maxi and mccain are both visibly pissed off thought it was funny mccain's talking about i'm starting to feel like i don't know maybe playing somewhere else after my contract is up would be good for me this is like the most normal thing i've ever seen the contract thoughts say usually it's something like oh i spilled my baked beans on the floor at the movie theater and the whole theater laughed at me evan mobley finals mvp sure shout out to him he's actually been good at offense this season oh joel Embiid retired well i guess we got some out of that i appreciate the chance of the los angeles clippers to give me here yeah quite the chance half a season we retired his jersey number obviously we finally have our pick it's the second odds and it fell down to four and our other pick fell down to seven from like five we drafted jordan mcdaniel and dj hunter sure i mean mcdaniel was the second best rated player in the draft now jared's only 26 so something like this if he actually stood around would be useful eventually he's also a six foot nine player finally someone that's tall and he has all nba ceiling okay we don't actually have money we're at negative 64 million for Giannis. jared's up to a 94 full disclosure the peak potential i gave him because i did raise it a little bit was not this high so he's just above and beyond i guess this is all fine and dandy though until he hits his mid-season slump and um goes down by seven overalls anyways maxi's also the third highest rated player but for some reason he's behind two p i don't know oh ben simmons is back and he'll be our backup center he had to wait till mb dipped out i don't think that really changed much the whole city kind of hated you they probably wouldn't care at this point though i know they're kind of hostile but like they've been through worse oh by the way the coach now is jason kidd i actually kind of want to know if he just signed here or not i'm not really sure if i could know that well it doesn't 
doesn't say it here so probably not for the record we're one of seven teams in the league with 390 overall players on our roster i just went and checked also shout out to the uh what was it i think the spurs had four yeah but yeah we're struggling to make the playoff i guess our guys just don't have dog also since i saw him on the spurs shout out to stefan castle he seems to be really good as well so far in his rookie year honestly a lot of the rookies seem like good but just not great but he's not one of the ones that seems like you know just good shay wins mvp i honestly did not look once at what the hell we did also jared has yet to make an all nba team in case you're wondering oh my god we're actually good yeah joe lmb was the problem i i have the answer now where is okay um maybe someone else is the problem too we have traded alperin sengun and tyrese maxi in the same season i didn't even notice this how the hell did we get jaron jackson for two million dollars wait can i see this jaron jackson 87 85 overall because he's down a little bit right now he's down in the dumps but uh we traded for this guy in one of those trades jason crow he's an 89 and then will riley was a damn did we win the trades i think we just won the trades i think this is what happened and now ben simmons is our starting center he's also wearing number seven which is kind of weird yeah i think we won these trades this dude was the 22nd pick man we should have drafted better but whatever i guess we made it out anyways now we're finally back and it's jared mccain's team kinda well this dude averaged more points how the hell did he get bench for half this season he's at 93 what the hell they got going on in memphis mccain averaged almost 20 points but also like almost the whole team averaged double figures it looks like and yeah i really don't know how jaron jackson was a free agent but i have the contract sliders in hell and they still don't work so whatever the celtics are the seven seed, so that's our first round opponent they have a similar team similar big three i guess and we win in four there you go second round i didn't even check toronto's team but we are bulldozing through them right now did we just get infinitely better after that trade now we're playing rj barrett paulo hugo gonzalez uh, kyle filipowski and brandon mccoy they just beat the knicks and they're the eighth seed we are up 3-0 4-0 we have lost one game so far now we might have a rude awakening we play whoever the hell we play can i see why memphis was wait let me let me check the stats real quick playoff stats yeah this dude will riley's averaging 24 9 he is currently the clear leader and then you got jason crow as well they're actually alternating on starting because we got this guy as well wait he's getting benched over here too for matas ah whatever y'all keep doing what you're doing it seems like it's working yeah we had some bad players and now we have some good players i guess anyways we're playing victor and cameron boozer in the same front court now we have cameron boozer's brother caden but uh he's also like 6'4 so i don't think he's gonna help much and we're gonna have ben simmons and jaron jackson guarding that now that actually sounds pretty good but uh i don't know if it'll be enough to stop those two we win game one by six points mccain had 28 8 and 6 leading us to this one we win game two mccain had 30 and crow had 35 it's kind of nice that like just random 23rd picks are ending up really good in these drafts now because it makes these videos of varied mccain with 25 and crow with 34 to win another game by 20 and we are up 3-0 on the san antonio spurs it took the departure of joel Embiid and tyrese maxi and recently added alper and shengun and your philadelphia 76ers are officially nba champions hold on, let me try and get one shot off of mccain right here oh yeah come on i got a lot of i missed it oh look i'm on the pc the timing's different don't hate me anyways we won ben simmons wins a championship with the philadelphia 76ers all it took was a number chain as the starting center against victor Wembanyama and jared mccain now the leader of the sixers this couldn't have really went any more poetically for the sake of this video because they basically got rid of anybody that was in jared's way from the 15th seed for like four straight years to number one in champions well actually we weren't number one but whatever we were close is that jeremy grant on our bench no i'm definitely lying the finals mvp i feel like will probably be that dude crow jared's real happy real exasperated oh i skipped through it whatever jason crow wins finals mvp hey that's fine by me shout out to him ben simmons has retired at 34 years old on it you know what i can't even hate on this on a championship season he only averaged five rebounds i don't know what he averaged in the playoffs though yeah by this time he was starting most of the games and he had a lot of double digit rebound uh, not a lot but a good amount hey we got the 15th pick from the clippers it's finally paid off whatever trade that was probably the hardened one still i got this dude jackie watson he's not good i gotta use auto generated drive class now because he ran out of the other ones oh we have signed khalil Ware to be our center we also probably lost um what's his name again jaron jackson yeah i don't know what the hell to do about this actually i just raised the salary cap by 30 million so maybe uh that'll help a little bit or maybe not maybe teams are really just in poverty this is what this the contract sliders as crack out as they possibly could be and still all these players can't get signed because 2k is in hell i feel like i haven't seen it be this bad this entire year but anyways jared mccain's up to an 95 still only got 13 badges but there's not a lot of badges in this game and he's a yeah he's got set shot specialist on legend at least that works and the, most of his badges have went up 
to gold. Shea won MVP. We are the first seed uh, yet again, reigning supreme in the East. 66 wins. Crazy how much one distinct change can change everything. And it's kind of odd that we're this good, led by a team of basically point guards. Also, McCain was the leader in scoring this year, and it doesn't look like we made any huge trades or anything. Did we sign Ian Jackson? Yep, we signed Ian Jackson to a one-year, $2 million deal. To be fair, most teams probably get one of these types of guys. Oh, shout to Ronnie. He's on the Bucks, but they didn't make the playoffs. Anyways, first round against Chicago. Get them out of here. Second round against Toronto. We're down 3-1. Scotty Barnes, Bam, and JJ Andrews put our back against the wall. Pause if necessary. 3-3, three to three, and we came back and won. The Knicks Conference Finals. Brandon McCoy, Baba Ola Latoon, and Eric Dampierre Jr. I looked at this team last year, and I'm pretty sure... Okay, they still had Brunson last year, but he's gone. Cat is off the bench, and most of the other guys retired. And we win in five. That's good. Shea is our finals uh, opponent. Him, Asar Thompson, Darren Peterson, and Chet Holmgren. Don't know where Jalen Williams went. We lost this game by eight. Our first finals loss in the last two years. Then we win the second one. McCain and Harrington with 22 to each our overall team just did a much better job this game shea was definitely the best player in it though we lose this game by five peterson at 37 for them and mccain only at 15 he might have been benched that game we have so many damn guards that sometimes stuff just happens oscar let's see how this goes where the pass into crow 115 to go mccain is in the corner currently and looks like they're gonna set a screen for both oh pass down to oh man khalil where it looked like he had it but then chet holmgren existed in humanity here's a wait a sec is this cody williams oh snap they got jalen's brother and they got rid of Jalen. There he is. He missed the first free throw. Hellish miss with one minute to go. And the second one is good. Pass down to Ware. Ware in the post. Ware back out to Harrington. Harrington all the way. And he'll take a terrible shot that misses. Pretty sure he had someone open in the corner. I didn't see exactly who. Chet is ice wing at the top of the key. Uh, now we'll pass it off to Bab. I'm not gonna, that's a crazy name. What the hell is going on with the defense right now? I don't know what just happened. Did Cleo Ware just fall asleep? Wait, there was a screen? No, wait. He just ran into another defender. They like fake switch but they didn't yeah clear where just fell asleep you'd think i was controlling him and i had the damn controller off and now we're down by three okay see go up three once so it's a pretty pivotal game jerry do you have anything to say about that they he called a timeout last shot last opportunity to seize everything we ever wanted we throw the ball away to shake we just threw the ball away peterson trying to ice the damn game we're not fouling which is actually really surprising in 2k terms but um no timeouts by the way five seconds ago on the shot clock cut cody williams right yep yeah yeah i should know his name now he just hit a yep this well this game's over got anything to say jared oh uh, he passes the damn ball off what, what's that like 99 three pointer you got for right he's got to have a 99 shea had 43 mccain at 18 yeah i knew he had 99 shooting i never even checked this i just knew i know how this game works he also has a 99 ball handle and he's more mediocre at defense but that's all right damn the one thing that's surprising is his speed with ball is a 78 and his speed is a 77 that's like actually really bad for a guard and we have lost the nba finals shea finals mvp i'm not gonna lie this game was close near the end i actually should have jumped in but you know how the pc speed is sometimes sometimes it's too fast and i didn't realize so uh mccain at 21 and 7 we also lost in five games so we're probably going to come back anyways thunder gave clint capella a ring and he retired we got a dude named finley out the draft oh we signed daniel gafford to a three-year deal that's another good big man to have and at least it's not telling me that anybody on the team regressed so that's kind of cool jared's now a 96 which just kind of doesn't feel real like i said i did not set his potential to be that high and we still have yet to see him shoot a shot yeah this so this all just says 96 now it used to be 92 max it was like 88 originally and i upped it a little bit for the video it was like 92 max 84 minimum and like 88 medium so i don't know what the hell happened but that's cool jared mccain re-signed to a four-year 240 million dollar deal so he'll be around here on this contender for a while we'll sign shade and sharp for the hell of it and he's a 90 like i said i really don't know what the hell is going on 2k did just release a patch so maybe they just ruined my league even more that wouldn't be surprising i just saw jason kidd won a coach of the year so that means we have the best record 62 wins also i realized a while ago why this dude will riley doesn't start all the time it's because he, he actually is listed at shooting guards so they just start and buzelli's over him but honestly we're winning so much and i'm not going to change anything we win 4-1 in the first round 4-0 in the second round this is going easy again yep we are in the finals again against the thunder jared mccain was the conference mvp shouldn't be too surprising and here we are again what a sudden switch in trajectory of the team but we lose the first game mccain was pretty trash in this one won the second game and he was pretty damn good 32 points four rebounds four assists third game
game, they're going to win by seven or eight. Yeah, eight. Shea had 54. He's winning MVP like every year recently, so it shouldn't be too surprising to see him be the best player on the court. But are we the best team? A, a better enough team to win some games? Maybe not. We're down 3-1 again. And 2-3, 4-2. We lose. Shea, 35, 3 and 8. Daniel Gafford retired. Well, that's just great. Yeah, he was definitely our starting center that entire season. So, as a matter of fact, Khalil Ware barely even played. We signed Tyler Smith. This dude's like a terrible defensive and rebounding center but he's good at scoring so this could either this would probably go pretty bad honestly that's like the exact opposite of what we need but maybe we just score so much that it doesn't matter damn we are 66 and 7 but we did just lose to the thunder so that nothing might matter baba ola tudun or ola dutun one most valuable player 73 and 9 from jason kidd and still no players from us in the all nba team but we might just be too good 21 5 and 4 from mccain and we are 15 games better than anybody in the conference so that should be light work right please okay lost two games to the pacers lost one to the raptors and lost two to the knicks but we made it under 160 games so maybe this will be interesting yeah interesting in the sense that they're about to beat us again we lost and shea dropped 47 okay we won the second one by 15 shea dropped 32 and 8 Did i say lost or won i don't know but we won that last one shea shea dropped 28 but our whole team damn near dropped double digits and we win the next one by 19 they only scored 90 we lose the next game by 12 mccain and shea both had 29 but uh yeah shea also had 10 assists and mccain had zero 169 to 116 good guy we smoked them in this game mccain Kane led with 34 points. We're up 3-2. We might finally get our revenge on this bet on these bastards. We won 124-105. Your Sixers are finally champions again. Jared McCain with 23 on pretty bad shooting, but who cares? And Shea just won the damn finals of VP anyways. Screw it, whatever. Okay, Jerry West. McCain did lead the playoffs in scoring by far for this team with 23 points per game. Nobody else averaged over 16. Still, Will Riley has some crazy eyeshadow around his eyes. Or mascara, whatever the hell. Lonzo Ball retired. Is this really the Suns logo? What is this? Why does the Suns logo say that? Is that like their G League logo? Oh, yeah, it's got to be. Yeah, yeah, because look, you could see a couple others. Uh, Trey Murphy with the G League logo. Delano Banton, Bones Highland on the damn Celtics. I think that logo is pretty funny with that damn lobster or whatever it is. Oh, the Red Claws. But wait, aren't they? They're not. Now they're the main Celtics. So now they're not the Red Claws. They're just the Green Claws. We have signed Som Somto Cyril. This dude's a much better defensive and rebounding center than the last guy we had. I think we still have Tyler Smith, though. And did he really start all the games last season? Uh, no, he barely played. I don't know who started over him, though. It was probably Khalil Ware, who's a free agent. Dylan Harper wins MVP. Leighton Leonard with two L's in Leighton. That's real descriptive. Pop Pie Jones, coach of the year for the Nuggets, I guess. We're the fourth seed this year. Not really sure why we fell off this much, but I guess, you know, roll with the punches. And we lost in the first round of Cleveland in five games. I really don't know why this happened, but uh, whatever, I guess. For the record, we traded for this dude, Caleb Wilson, last season. I didn't realize he was this good, though. I forget who we even traded for him, but it was someone that existed on the universe you know what the knicks won the ring so i'll take the sacrifice cat retired on that note i saw him in the free agency he's probably gone now but uh yeah there he is shout out to kai and anthony i saw he committed to syracuse our best center is now this six foot nine doom named jackie watson who we drafted all he's good at is rebounding and defense and honestly i'm cool with that keep doing your job he's already got hall of fame post lockdown he's barely played a game we're the second seed this year 51 wins not bad jared still putting up a smooth 23 points and we're in game seven against the bulls we win conference finals against the knicks and we lose in five to Baba and Nas Reed back in the city. Oh, I think he's from Jersey. Tyron Stokes, finals MVP for the Mavs. Oh, great. They have Caden Boozer playing 30 minutes a game. I don't know. I don't even remember him leaving this team, but oh, that's who we traded for Caleb Wilson. Oh, yeah, that's who it was. Oh, the team. So this man, Jared, is a 99. I genuinely don't know how this happened. It's also got legend set shot, legend shifty shooter, and a Hall of Fame bailout. But guess what? He has no all NBA appearances or oh, he's got three all stars. Okay. I've never actually checked those. Nas Reed retired. Shout out to Hugo Yimga McCory for winning the all NBA third team we were the third seed we made it out the first round so far okay now first two and we lost in game seven to the damn raptors by four mccain at 37 he was averaging 27 over the playoffs his best run so far bentley lusa Queno wins finals mvp free agent jason tatum retired just felt like checking who the oldest player in the league was and it's a tie between shea and luca also the best player in the league overall wise is obviously jared mccain with some dude named paul and darren jared went down in overall don't worry we'll be our 
all right for now 2037 will all be elderly oh yeah also i don't know how it's taken me this long to mention this um i started recording this video yesterday before this report came out but today a report came out talking about how the sixers are in turmoil and uh, maxi and mb maxi was trying to hold mb accountable during their practice or whatever or a team meeting that's all great stuff that actually feeds to the uh first portion of this video when they were losing every single season because they are 2 and 11 in real life right now i can't root for hugo anymore he left the knicks we still have not had an all nba player in the past god knows how many years literally all of them but we are back to the first seed tied with the bulls and jared averaged 24 this year now this is gonna be a weird hall of fame deduction for him because yes he's made a lot of all-stars but he's made no all nbas but he's been so damn good like forget the the hall of fame or legend badges the, the stats don't care about that stuff he's over here averaging 20 plus for his career i mean maybe this looks like a cj mccollum stat line but still he's winning championships and stuff and watch on that no okay oh we lost in the second round to the nets i i thought we were gonna lose in the first round to the buck so i guess i'll take it trey johnson finals mvp free agent luka Doncic retired and dyson daniels retired the greatest defender of all time sorry that's actually og and Obi's title you know what i'm gonna screw we're gonna experiment i'm making an executive decision this dude will riley has been listed as a 6'9 shooting guard like tracy mcgrady this entire time i'm just gonna put him at small forward and see what happens because then we'd have damn near an entire 90 lineup where the hell did this guy come? oh i think we drafted him too actually another good dude that we drafted his overall actually didn't change at all i mean he was already at 95 but uh yeah there you go so now we officially have damn near an entire 90 overall starting lineup with two 90s off the bench and knowing 2k will probably sign another one in four days yep there we go anton kozlov welcome to the team six foot six foot zero point guard jared mccain won clutch player of the year good lord this is his first award i don't even know if this shows up on the awards list does it no we're the third seed again it's not that bad oh wow we just came back down three zero can we finish the job though yes we're in the final came back three zero against the raptors and mccain averaging 26 in the playoffs he is i mean he is a 99 but yeah he's the clear leader of the team it's no question about it and we're here stefan castle's down to a 92 while mccain's still a, i mean a 92 an 82 while mccain's still a 98 we're playing the reigning champion mavericks screw we're just gonna do this oh they have won the first two games game three in philly and the philly crowd lock in speaking of like the philly crowd and crowds in general not even in like an antagonizing way i just really love whenever i'm watching a game with the knicks playing and they just take over the opposing team's arena like it's almost a given with the hawks and the heat those two specifically i like to call msg south although when we played both of them in the playoffs they both had a fair enough amount of fans in there i'm pretty sure i don't know i think the hawks was worse anyways we just came back down 2-0 and now it's 3-2 and we have won the nba finals we are back again please give jared mccain okay he played pretty bad in this game but please can he win a finals oh my god it went to tire you know what i don't care i don't care i'm giving it to jared mccain screw you you played good but not good enough screw you you ain't win stefan castle retired i think i made it make it pretty clear on this channel that i rarely ever watch college stuff but i think castle and Klingon were the only two where i was watching the college i was like oh yeah those two are gonna be pretty damn good during the march madness last year oh and mccain actually ironically i just remember i think he had like one game where he had like 30 points or something in the march madness and he just looked seamless to the sport of basketball mccain is now down to a 95 overall after his uh <clears throat> first finals mvp that uh, definitely wasn't rigged and crows up to a 97 so you know we're still hanging in there all these guys are 30 plus years old now though but you know three rings ain't too bad i can tell you one thing the number 20 jersey is definitely not gonna be worn about another player again over here 60 wins for the sixers but the nets and the knicks both did it too this atlantic division is hell right now and we just got smoked in the first round by miami miami was actually the team that forced or whatever the hell the sixers to go into turmoil yesterday so i guess it fits the bill and the nets win the championship i think they just came back 3-0 right in front of my eye tommy slavi Visic wins or didn't win anything actually he won a trip to home gonna go ride some horses he was a nuggets player and he had a weird name so shout out to jason kidd with the glasses on Jared mccain's down to a 93 he's also 36 years old he's got one year 80 million left on his contract i wonder if this will be the last one he'll probably get a contract extension regardless or he'll be a free agent like jason tate i definitely by the way didn't send his well actually you would know i'm not lying because he's been regressing for the past four years but i definitely didn't set his peak to end this late into his career it's 2040 i actually don't remember if i changed it at all for me and honest with you jason wait what the hell this bastard left us and went back to brooklyn who's our coach now joe mazula hey this crackhead gonna get us in shape we'll be all right fourth seed we winning come on okay we lost to miami again nuggets win the ring Dijon salam retired jared mccain re-signed on a two-year 102 million dollar deal this was obviously at some point during last season i never really checked though oh snap we got I abraham june maker bowl i love a good name shout out to names anyways jason crow went up to a 99 even though he's 32 hit that demar Derozan first year 
on the Bulls type of development because DeMar was going absolutely insane that season. Uh, we lost in the second round 4-2 to the Pacers. Kyan Anthony wins Western Finals MVP and he didn't win Finals MVP, but he did win a ring. It's taken me a while to come to this conclusion, but I definitely belong here in Philadelphia. Thank you, Jared. You've been here for 18 years. Bob Sims retired. McCain's down to an 86 overall. Jason Kidd wins Coach of the Year. Why do I care though? He's not even our coach anymore. Jared's still talking about working out a new contract, not retiring. Is he still starting? No, he started 26 games this year. I would guess it's the first time since his rookie season he's not starting almost all the... Oh, never mind. He didn't start most of the games last year either. We're the third seed and first round win, second round loss. I think there's a sign here that uh, we needed Jerry McCain to be good to be good. We were pretty damn good. Hugo Gonzalez retired. Once upon a time, we were pretty damn good, I should say. Jared has said it's time for me to move on. This season will be my last. I don't know if that means he's doing a retirement tour or what, but I mean, it is the first game of the season. Anyways, that stuff takes way too much effort to see anyways. Don't you have to like sim to the end of a game and see their like jersey swap with random players i still have yet to see that at all naturally on my own this year and i couldn't care less we had another player a clutch player of the year shout out to jason crow and with the fall of jared mccain we are now a play-in team we are we did win so we're the seventh seed and lost to the knicks and what i assume is his last nba game jared mccain put up 14 points on 14 shots he had time to pack it up wrap it up then will augustine wants finals mvp with the nets and jared mccain is a, a retired alongside victor Wimba. wait oh no i'm stupid i was about to say didn't y'all get drafted in the same year? No, Victor's been in the league for a year already. Anyways, Jared McCain finished his career averaging 20 points, four rebounds, four assists, 48 from the field, 41 from three, 96 from the free throw line. He had zero triple doubles and 24 double doubles. You would have thought of, ah, I guess he was only averaging four assists. He used to have that legend set shot and shifty shooter, but those came down to earth. Game highs of 46 points, 18 field goals. You know what? This is on my mind. Someone told me there's something that I asked for and it's in 2K. I have to go check this in a second. 10 threes. 18 free throws, 12 assists, six steals, three blocks. Someone commented on one of my videos or tweeted or DM me somebody. I don't know where you could see now the team records. Oh, wait, wait, hold on. Career. Yeah, there you go. Look, career leaders and points. Now, what the hell? Is it just, wait, I'll see him anywhere. Jared McCain. He, he would have to be up here. This is stupid. There's no way on God's green earth this dude would not be up here. He played it for 20 years. Okay, well, uh, maybe they added this new feature and it doesn't work. Let me check threes. Is there threes anywhere? No. Three point percentage. Based off what I just said, he averaged 41% from three. He would maybe I have to, you know what? Maybe I have to go past this. Uh nope, he's still not here. Well, that's good. That's that's great, actually. So I was excited about this new feature, but uh, it doesn't work. Anyways, he made the most threes in the game in Sixers history with 10. Most threes in playoff history is with eight. He tied with AI and himself three times. Actually made the most free throws in a playoff game as well, tying indeed. That's impressive. You know how he does. McCain is 13th all time in total points with 32,243. So yes, I believe that would make him number one for Sixers all time by far. So not really sure why that list doesn't work. But anyways, 19th in field goals with 10,800. He is number one in three surpassing Steph Curry. I didn't even realize at any point he was making this many, but this is actually very rarely do you see a player pass Steph Curry. Like Shea, insane shoot, or even Donovan Mitchell, insane scores in this league, but they got... 2,000 short of Jared. And I never adjusted his three-point tendency once. It just was already like that, I guess. And aside from that, not much else to write home about in this section. But the moment of truth, did he make the Hall of Fame? Yes. Jared McCain, Hall of Famer. What the hell? Victor Victor didn't average 20 for like two thirds of his career. That's actually crazy because he only averaged 17 points per game for his career. But anyways, Jared, Mc I just caught my eye because he averaged less points than McCain. McCain with six all-star appearances, which is actually twice as many as Trey Johnson, who also, or does it not say, why does it say Ryan Hampton twice? What? Y'all see this? Look at the top left. Ryan Hampton, Jeremy Jenkins, Ryan Hampton twice. This is neither one of them is him anyways. Yeah, Trey Johnson had three all-star appearances is Jared had twice as many. He also had three times as many championships. And I did give him that one finals MVP, which Trey also did get. But I, I think according to this, he probably would have made it regardless and also one all rookie first team. Well, that's cool, I guess. And of course, his jersey will be put up into the rafters by your Philadelphia 76ers. And uh, you know, this is pretty decent. Good career by Jared McCain. It's been real. It's been fun, but it ain't been real fun. Subscribe to the channel if you feel like it. You can like the video if you feel like it as well. If you feel like it once again, uh, yeah, I don't control you. Okay, cool. Shout out to Hollis Thompson. RIP to Daryl Dawkins. RIP to Dikemi Matumbo. Um, I know Daryl Dawkins died like 10 years ago, but I was just thinking of Sixers players. And I'm gonna get the hell up and out of here. Also, let me know what videos you wanna see if you're still here here because i'd be listening sometimes i'm sorry to the people who ask for a video for like a hundred or like a million days straight and i don't do it it's got to be something i really don't want to do sometimes so anyways uh sayonara good